What's going on, Cryptocurrency Universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. Well, I'm going to show you today how to fix this pesky DAG file issue. I've been noticing it on several GPUs, especially when they start updating. It's a Windows update that is conflicting with the miner in some way, shape, or form. I'm not 100% sure how. Uh, it's one of the updates maybe about 30 to 60 days ago. I think I have these postponed, the updates, for about 30 days. And they've been doing it one by one, all of the rigs. So what we need to do is we need to update this miner to 12.0. As you just saw, it was 11.9, the Claymore miner. And we need to go ahead and update it to 12.0, so let's do that. Okay, I've already downloaded it and extracted it. Um, this, as you can see, I was running 11.9, so now we're gonna go ahead and run 12. Okay, I'm running 12 now. Sometimes this fixes it, sometimes it does not. It depends on what your virtual memory is set on, but I like to go ahead and raise them anyways. But let's see if this works, just purely upgrading the miner. So as you can tell, it did not work just upgrading the miner to 12.0 from 11.9. So what we need to do now is, of course, give it uh, firewall access when this pops up since it's a new software. We're going to go ahead and allow it on public and private. And in order to upgrade the virtual memory, what we need to do is go over to your PC, right click it, and we need to go to properties. Then from properties, we need to go over to advanced system settings, and then go to settings, and then go to advanced again, and then change. So as you can see, I already had it set at 1600 pretty much to 18,000. And what we're gonna do is change this over from 3200, excuse me, 32,000 at the top and put 32,000 at the bottom. Then click set. Then we're gonna have to restart the computer. Click apply again down here. Click OK. Then we're gonna to have to click OK here again. And then it's gonna ask you to restart. Restart the computer. Alright, I just restarted the computer. Let's go ahead and let it restart. So this should have fixed the problem. It does in the past when I've tested it on the other computers. So far, no problems. It seems to be working just fine. I'm not exactly sure why it's requiring more virtual memory, but as you can tell, putting 3200 is quite a bit. Uh, usually I put maybe 16 or 1800. If you read the README file, it recommends 16 gigs of uh, virtual memory. So we just kind of doubled that to 32. Well, not quite doubled, but we put it at 32. And so far, no DAG error issues. Sometimes you will not be able to write on any card. Sometimes you'll only be able to write, won't be able to write on one card, maybe two cards. I've seen several different variations. So there we go, it seems to be working except for our hash rate is really down for some reason. Let's take a look at that and see if we can figure it out too. Upon further inspection, I guess I should have looked at this closer before I made the video, uh, it also updated the driver. Sometimes it does update the driver, although I've noticed about 80% of the time it was not updating the driver, this time it did update the driver. As you can see right here, it shows us the driver type. All of our other settings are still remaining the same, the core voltage, the clock speed, and the memory clock. But because it updated the driver from the blockchain drivers, it's only giving us the 14 mega hash. So we need to update the drivers in this machine back to the original or switch it to compute mode. I personally do not like the compute mode version. I like to use the original blockchain drivers and they work the best for me. So I hope that helped again, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and update this uh, driver and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll go from there. Pro tip, you should be using 
DDU display driver uninstaller. I can put a link down in the dashboard if you guys don't know where to get it. But this is what you need to be using in order to uninstall your current drivers before you install the new ones. Just in case you didn't know that. Okay, I've got the drivers uninstalled. As you can see, you're gonna, everything's going to look big on the screen. It's not going to look normal. These are the drivers I like to use. The Win 10 64-bit Crimson Live blockchain drivers. Uh, as you can see, they came out on August 23rd. Here's the actual name, 64-bit Crimson Relive Beta Blockchain Workload Drivers, August 23rd is the one you want. I can put a link down in the description as well for you. Okay, I'm done installing the drivers, just need to restart the computer. Okay, when you restart the machine after installing the drivers and you have more than three graphics cards, this is only going to happen if you have more than three graphics cards. For some reason, with AMD cards, this doesn't also work with Intel cards, or excuse me, uh, Nvidia cards, but it does work with AMD cards. We've got to run the Pixel Patcher because it's going to look like you did not install any drivers. As you can see, it doesn't show up here. The mining software does not work. So we're going to go into Pixel Patcher, which I can also put a link for down in the bottom, and run the Pixel Patcher. Okay, then we just have to restart the computer. Okay, see now it looks like the drivers are installed. Everything on the screen is much smaller. We can wait for Afterburner to load and the mining software, which should come up just in any second now. Okay, there we go. There's the mining software. Sees all six cards again. Here's Afterburner. Now we can see that it shows the Crimson Beta, which are the blockchain drivers. All right, no problems with the DAG file. So we fixed the DAG file problem and updated the drivers all at the same time. Um, I do find that sometimes you do not have to mess with the drivers, but every once in a while you do. So I wanted to go ahead and include that into this tutorial. Now, as you can see, we are not getting the correct hash over here. And GPU 0, for some reason, is on, excuse me, GPU 5 is on 0. So what we need to do is come back over here and then look at our afterburners. You can see our afterburner is not overclocked, so we're going to go back to our pre-programmed setting and set it. Close this, and then we're going to want to reopen it. Okay, I went ahead and restarted it. And we should have no problems now. It should be running just like it's supposed to be. Well, for whatever reason, only one of the GPUs did it, did it to 27. We can check the speed again by pressing S. And everything is up to 28, 28.5 megahertz. Now, we do have one GPU 5, which did not take. So this is another random problem. This is a great video, actually, because we get a chance to show you how to fix all these random issues. So what we need to do is go over here to GPU 5, or at least figure out which one it did not load on. As you can see, I'm selecting through the list. There it is right there, GPU 6, actually on Afterburner. Just because it says 5 over here doesn't mean it's 5 on Afterburner. Um, quirky stuff. So what we need to do now is shrink this back, reload this one, save it, close this again, and then restart this. Sometimes we have to restart the computer. Uh, this time so let's try it without restarting the computer and see what happens. There we go, we fixed GPU number five. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, and see you next time.